Hey everyone, welcome back to Draw Every Day with JJK. I'm Jeremy J. Krasowska and you may be wondering, where have you been all week? Uh, so, been a crazy busy week. You know, there are so many events that aren't happening in real life. And one of those events is the big annual American Library Association Conference. And and it's at the summer conference, it's when they say, when they when they hand out the awards. They announce the awards in January. And then all the authors and illustrators and librarians and educators and publishers look forward to getting together and people give speeches. And I won a gold medal for audiobook of the year for my graphic memoir, Hey Kiddo. Now, uh, if you're a younger viewer, Hey Kiddo is not for you. Hey Kiddo is a young adult book. So that means it's for, for readers 12 and older, teens and adults. And we did this huge audiobook production. Of, of, of adapting a graphic memoir to be an audiobook, and it won the gold medal. I was so proud, so happy. So I delivered my acceptance speech this week, so I was busy getting ready for that. And that's why you'll see all around me, I am surrounded by photos of my family members. And so I thought, you know, it's gonna be a short week. We'll do two episodes this week. Let's make it about family. So let me introduce you to my family. Like you've, you've met Gina and Xavier, and you've met Zoe and, and Lucky. Let me explain to you the family I came from. What I love about families is all families are different. All families look different. So for me, this is what my family looked like. I was raised by my grandparents, Joseph and Shirley. Let me find some... Okay, so there's Joe, my grandpa Joe. He That's when he was a high school student. This is a picture of me and my grandmother Shirley I must have been maybe around probably about nine years old in this photo and let's see I have another picture of my grandfather you probably have seen this picture in the background of a lot in my show that's my grandpa Joe and he was a really hard worker and he was full of love and laughter and this is one of my all-time favorite favorite photos of him now, I was raised by my grandparents because uh, my my birth mother, Leslie, here she is, she uh, was unable to raise me. Uh, she was a, a wonderful woman who loved me very much. Uh, and that just happens sometimes where, where the birth parents aren't able to raise the kids. Uh, so she was still in my life. And I was raised by her parents, Joe and Cheryl, my grandparents. So my grandparents were really like my parents. I never get to meet my great grandparents. That is Joseph and Anna Krasowski. Uh, they came from Poland. And you might be wondering, why was their name Krasowski? Well, when my grandfather was a teenager, he served in World War II. And back then you had to be 16 to serve. And he fibbed on his birth date. And the Navy misspelled Krasowski to be Krasowska. And because he fibbed a little bit on his birth date, he didn't speak up. So all the Krasowskis became Krasowskas. Who else? Were, oh, this is another picture of my mother, Leslie, with her boyfriend. Uh, they were never married, uh, but they were together for years and, you know, like maybe 12, 13 years before he passed away. Uh, so even though they were never married, I really, I really look at uh, my mother's boyfriend as, as like a, a stepfather to me. And of course... We have a picture of Gina there, our wedding day. Here is set up for my acceptance speech to the Odyssey Award, but I thought, you know what? Why don't I leave it up in order uh, for all of my Draw Every Day uh, viewers to, to check it out. We're gonna celebrate family, and I'm gonna encourage you to draw family. Right now, I feel like we're all probably in one or two camps with family. We're either seeing a lot of them, like all the time, or we really, really miss them. Sometimes we're probably feeling both. So today I want to celebrate grandparents. You know, I miss my grandparents. They're, they're, they're no longer alive. They passed away many years ago, uh, but they, get, they lived a good long life. And that's the beauty of having loved someone on this earth is that you always love them and they'll always be with you in your memories and the stories you share with them. So today I'm going to draw a picture of my grandparents, Joseph and Shirley. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw this picture from memory. So I'm not going to look at uh, a photo reference. I just want to draw it from memory as how I remembered them. 
Now, my grandmother is a big reason why Hey Kiddo is not for the Draw Everyday viewers. She had a pretty big potty mouth. Uh, I don't know, maybe some of your gran grandmothers curse a lot too, but my grandmother cursed. Uh, she cursed like a trucker who used to be a sailor, which is ironic because my grandfather was a sailor and, and he didn't cuss all that much. And again, I'm going to find my shapes. My grandfather was a little bit taller than my grandmother. They both had glasses. My grandfather would wear these sort of aviator glasses that would turn into sunglasses once he went outside. My grandmother always wore these big round glasses. Kind of looks like Betty from Lunch Lady. My grandmother's, my grandmother, her family came from Sweden. She had a little, little round nose. My grandfather's family came from Poland. He had a big old nose there. And my grandfather had a full head of hair slicked back. He was a very cool man. Big bushy eyebrows. My grandmother would get herself to the salon to get a permanent. My grandfather would spend his days going into a factory that he helped run and, and found. And my grandmother was a homemaker. She would uh, get all of the housework done by 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Price is Right would start, and then her soap operas ran from uh, like 12.30 to 4 o'clock, and then she'd work on, on making dinner. And that was our routine. Oh, and then of course, we would have dinner very early. So it was me and my grandparents, all of their other kids had, had uh, grown and, and left the house. So we would have dinner at five, quarter to five. It got earlier and earlier as they got older. And of course my friends would call the house because they'd want to talk. And my grandfather would get so angry that they were calling during dinner time. But it really wasn't an absurd time for friends to call because it was only, you know, quarter to five or five o'clock. So my grandfather who, who was seat at the dinner table was right next to the phone. Because of course back then, remember phones were connected to the wall with a wire. And he'd answer the phone and he'd say, Webster Square Cinemas. And the person would say, I'm so sorry, I have the wrong phone number. They'd call back, he'd pick up the phone, he'd say, Worcester Police Department. <laughs> and I would get so embarrassed. And he would do that so I was embarrassed and that I would tell my friends not to call at that hour. My grandmother would get, you know what really irked her? What really made her mad? You ever watch Price is Right and you know, the contestants are trying to guess the price of something? And one person might say, uh, Bob, well, I guess now they say Drew, because it's Drew Carey, but uh, it was Bob Barker back in the day. Uh, Bob, I'm gonna guess that costs uh, $250. And they go to the next contestant, and they'd say, I'm gonna guess that's $251, which is such a cheap move. If you know the rules of Price is Right, what a cheap move. Oh, she would get so angry and she'd sit on her lazy boy recliner chair. And um, that's pretty much where I learned all of my, uh, any inappropriate words that I know I learned from being in the same room with my grandmother as she watched game shows. So, there are my grandparents, Joe and Cheryl Krasowska. I miss them so much. Uh, let's take a moment to check in with a creature that my grandmother would have disliked, which is my pug. She hated dogs. She's so afraid of dogs. My grandfather, uh, he actually lived to meet Ralph, uh, but he was pretty indifferent. They weren't animal people. We are here in this house. Let's check in with Ralph. It's time for Pug Cam. All right, 
Thank you, Ralph. Now, uh, let's take a moment. Now, let me see if I could find one of my family members so we can continue to thank Generations of Friends. Hey, Show. Zoe, welcome back. Hi, I cut my hair, see? Zoe cut her hair. Very exciting. So, um, why don't you draw your grandparents, uh, Joyce and Greg, and tell all the viewers all about them. Okay. So, my grandma, I'll start with, um, she, um, used to be a speech therapist. And she was a assistant principal in an elementary school. <laughs> and she was also a clown. And she, uh, she was a clown that taught people how to be safe. Right. She, <laughs> full clown makeup and everything, right? But she was much younger. Not recently. No. <laughs> she could consider bringing that back. True. I'll give her a smile because she's always so happy and nice and she, my grandma, she bakes the best meringues which are like cookies and they're like good. They're like the kind of cookie and they're like white and they are creamy kind of and you bite into them. And she makes them for me and my mom because we both love them a lot. <laughs> They're really good. And actually, I was talking to her earlier today. And that was fun. She's really nice. What are you thinking about? Her eyebrows. She has, uh little eyebrows like kind of like mom and then, and then like a little uh they're well manicured eyebrows i don't know if that's the right word for it like, she takes care in her eyebrows like, like tiny i guess so they're well they're well shaped eyebrows okay <laughs> like that perfect okay the trouble with eyebrows because they're hard to yeah, I can never like do the same thing on the same side, but you know what? We're gonna pretend. Oh, it looks great. No, you're being too hard on yourself. There we go. There's grandma, and then she has. Oh, I don't sort know, of like bangs. parted in the middle, but then comes up like this. And she, sometimes she has bangs. Like that? Yeah. Let me draw her. There we go. There's Grandma. Yay. Okay, now Grandpa. Grandpa used to to be air an engine engineer. He worked with the airplanes and he made those little pig nozzle things that you see in the airplanes, yeah. right? Your, your grandfather helped design the airflow system in airplanes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you're, when you're flying and you're adjusting the air on you, uh, so is grandpa, Gina's dad, had a hand in, uh, in helping design that. He worked in the team for several years who, who, who worked on um, the, the air pressures systems in airplanes that's cool and he traveled all the time when he did that sometimes didn't he go to like he went he went to like china a lot he had to go all over the world to have uh, special meetings and and give presentations and uh he has he's a very humble man so he was on the history channel once he had uh, a hand in, in helping design airflow systems and, and pretty intense uh, jets and uh, all of the um, certificates for the patents that he, his, he and his team have a part in are uh, on the wall but in the second floor in a room that is seldom used. It's not right there in the front hallway. Um, 
what 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 is his eyebrows look like? I, I always forget what people's eyebrows look like. I remember just, what I guess just regular eyebrows, I suppose. I mean, I remember what people's face looks like, but I don't remember their eyebrows. I think you could just go with it. Yeah. Just regular eyebrows. Just regular eyebrows. His eyebrows aren't too big like my grandfather Joe had really big bushy eyebrows. Greg this is does how not. I normally draw eyebrows. Perfect. Those are, those there we are, those go. are good Greg eyebrows. Oh, I forgot to give grandma ears. That would be funny. Um, Grandpa has ears. What his hair goes like? It's short on the side and very short on the top. <laughs> and he can have a he has a beard too. He has a beard like. I guess he's what you'd call it a silver fox. A handsome older man that has white and gray hair. I don't want to give him. You don't want to call. You don't want to call your grandpa Silver Fox. I'm okay. not gonna give him a beer. Okay. <laughs> I want to call him Grandpa. Okay. Grandma's eyebrow. For some reason, my favorite thing to draw is like eyes, but I hate drawing eyebrows, and I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't, is that funny? I no. think it's weird. I don't like drawing. Prof profiles can be very difficult to draw. They are. Happy face, cause everyone's happy. <laughs> um. And Joyce, Joyce and Greg are, uh, probably watching this they not probably they absolutely are watching this because they are, uh, are are they have not missed an episode they have watched every single episode of draw every day with jjk uh not just to see their son-in-law and i know they love me but they really love getting to see their grandkids on their tv just about every day because <laughs> we're so cool all and kids so are so cool Mm -hmm. Adults are okay. <laughs> Grandma's hair sometimes is like kind of wavy, but it's sometimes kind of curly, but it's sometimes straight. Yeah, it's a good assessment. It changes all the time. Yeah, like, like my grandmother Shirley used to go to the hairdresser on a regular basis. Uh, that Joyce really loves to get her, her hair done as well. Yeah. I guess grandmas like to get their hair done a lot. Yeah. Ah, I was like, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh wait, I'm missing grandpa's head and ears. <laughs> Grandpa does not get his hair done that often. Well, Grandpa cuts it himself in really? the basement. Yes. Whoa, fancy he has, he, schmancy. Yeah, he's so he's been playing. He's he's been prepared for this day and age of everyone having to cut their own hairs. I'm he's gonna write. Been trained for years. Grandpa and Grandma and under I'm gonna uh, write their real names. Go ahead. And we miss Greg and Joyce so much. We get to see them every now and then. Gregory, when he was when I was younger, he said, "Zoe, I have a secret." And I was like, "What?" And he goes, "My real name is Gregory. Don't tell anyone." <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a great story. <laughs> I remember. I was like in kindergarten or something. Well, thank you, everybody. I love them. Yes, so we nice. love you, Grandma, Grandpa, Joycey, and Greggy. And thank you everybody for watching and thank you too for sending in your artwork. Uh, check out the uh, wonderful and amazing artwork that you all sent. And please consider uh, making some drawings of your grandparents, wherever they are. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Please click like and subscribe and keep drawing. See you soon.